What time is it? About five to nine. Five to nine. We've been on the road for three hours. Well, we've been on the road for just over two and a half hours. Then we stopped to stretch our legs and get ourselves some refreshment. So I've got my chai tea latte. We are at the services. The services. <laughs> what services? I don't. They're on the M the M M6 services. toll road. Road Somewhere before one. the M6 toll, we are all at some services that has a Costa. So I, I've got my chai tea latte. Dan has his latte. The girls both have hot chocolates. Randomly the only time I drink coffee. And they both loved their handmade bears. Yeah. Where are they, girls? Well, mine is... <laughs> Where's mine? Have you given them names yet? No. If and just in case I haven't said, we are on the road from Kent to Scotland. We are heading to Aberdeenshire where we have got um, a holiday cottage for the week. And it takes about nine hours to drive there. So we're making good, good time. It's Sunday morning and surprisingly busy for early on a Sunday. Did you find the bear? No, we can't find Lydia's sock either. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights We're at Tesco's in Carlisle which is where we stop for lunch We've come through the Yorkshire Dales, we're over halfway We're all hungry We all need a wee <laughs> I ordered a fish finger wrap and it was lovely and I was so hungry I forgot to film it before I dug in. You can still hear me munching now. Phoebe has fish and chips. With a massive fish. I think you'll be having some help with that. No. And Lydia has a chicken burger which she is very happy about. And Dan has fishy chips. Fishy chips? Fish and chips as well. Fishy chips. The chips are not fishy. I mean, Dan doesn't mind them, but I really hate them. Some people 
play it and they do it if you get the orange one. So I really don't like orange flavour. But I love the orange ones. But my favourite is the toffee. Lily is not playing because she was watching a film and it made her feel car sick. But she's had a tablet and she's feeling better but she doesn't want to eat anything. Not even chocolate. because this is where my mum was born in Fife and she grew up for the early part of her childhood before moving to Aberdeen. Yeah, um, yeah so we're in Fife, we're going to be going through Perth and then Dundee where we shall make a very quick stop to get Rowies, which I'll show you later. And then it'll be hopefully about an hour from there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> We're on an important mission in Asda's in Dundee. There's something we have to buy when we arrive in Scotland. Rowies. Have one now. We have procured the Rowies, also known as butteries. My granny used to call them buttery. We even got mini ones. And uh, we were supposed to get ciabatta bread to go with our bolognese. But we forgot and we can't be bothered to go back. Mind your feet. We haven't even been in yet and it's already amazing. <laughs> Phoebe's on the swing over there and this is right outside the front. I think I'll just sit out here all day and listen to that. I'm going in. So what we do when we go on holiday is we've stopped using suitcases. Instead of taking suitcases, we each have a foldable crate. And that way we get all of our clothes, all of our toiletries, electronics, alarm clocks and other bits, all goes into the crate. We marry, condo, fold it. And then we can each just carry our crates to our bedrooms. I'm getting lost. Here is Lilia's crate here waiting to be taken to her room yeah. and here is my crate waiting to take waiting to be taken to my room right i'm going to save the house tour for tomorrow because we were 12 hours on the road you're going to come and say hello hi <laughs> we were 12 hours on the road and then about 45 minutes trying to work out how to work the induction hob 
apparently you just pressed the button. So. Yes, apparently. <laughs> so we poured a drink and we're going to drink it and we're going to probably light the fire and some candles and we'll see you tomorrow. And drink more. Cheers. Drink. Cheers. Slangy bar. Slange. Good morning. I am eating my breakfast. This house is so big. Right, I'm going to give you a tour. It's now Monday morning. It's still quite early. I think it's about half past nine. As you can see, the weather is absolutely absolutely beautiful. It wasn't supposed to be, but it is. We've had a lovely breakfast out here and I'm going to take you indoors and show you all around. So here's the house. It's called Kirkton Mill. It's an old mill. I'll tell you a bit more about it shortly. Phoebe. Come to help. Talk out the front door. You're in the front door. We're going to go in the side door because this is the door we're kind of using. Got a log store here. And you come in and this is the kitchen. This is the main living area here. This is where we sat last night. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Got our pretend stags head up there. We had this on last night, the log burner, and it was lovely. <laughs> and then this is the kitchen where we made our bolognese. And these might look like they're china, but they're actually plastic. Yes, giant apples. Every home should have one. There's lovely sort of storm candles everywhere. Love this picture of the Highland Coo. The Mine's kitchen is utterly it. beautiful. And then here's Dan and Lily are demonstrating the dining area. And another massive television. Good morning, Lily. Good morning. Then up the stairs, Phoebe will show, show us up the stairs here. And you must take your flip-flops up. Oh, we've got to take our flip-flops up. Because you do not want to trip over. This is and the comes sort of the game room. So if you have many good games, and um, my favourite game that me and Dad did was word search, it's so fun. So there's we'll lovely little this. games and sitting area up here. This is so far with a sloth. A sloth, every home should have a sloth. There's also a pink rug. And, and this rock animals, which I can actually help. Let's see then. <laughs> Very squeaky. And then the view out the top here. That little cottage next door is a two person cottage that you can hire and it's got a hot tub. And I think there's no one in it at the moment, but I think they said they might have a couple of people coming. They, oh, did you see the swallows? Yeah. Flying. And that's looking out there. 
across to the forest. We're going to go for a walk out there later. And then on the other side here, it's looking out across the roof and towards the garden. And that's our garden and the owner's private road just below. And this looks over. <laughs> Dan is now demonstrating the sitting area. <laughs> Right, let's head back down and show them the sleeping quarters. Oh yeah, I like to call it that. Down the stairs Beautiful the light, gigantic table. windows. Okay, you can put your flip flops back on. Oh, good. Thank you very much. I should put my flip flops back on. Okay. Okay, so through here. Oh look, here's a lovely gigantic mirror. Through here is the bedrooms, basically, isn't it? So this is where Phoebe is sleeping. <laughs> so this is the double room that Phoebe has chosen. Another massive television. I made the bed myself. It looks beautiful. This is the hallway. And this is Lilia's room. Oh, but she's not long up, so the, her bed is a mess. But she's got a <laughs> wall full of wardrobes in here. Sleep well, then. <laughs> yeah, that's it's true. another double room and another television. And then out here, this is the front door. So this is out when Dan and I were having breakfast this morning. There's a utility room in here. So this is like all the washing machine and there's a double freezer in here and, and it's just a great place sink. for putting everything. A working sink. Ooh. More storm lanterns. This is the downstairs bathroom. Phoebe, do you want to turn the light on? Kind of mine and Lily's bathroom. Yeah, this is the one that you're using and it is absolutely beautiful. And it has a jacuzzi bath. It has a jacuzzi bath which we are definitely going to be and trying I out. We're going to go and buy some bubble bath. I can show you the light. And it lights up. You can't see the light. No, it's a bit too bright. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh there we go. And it's got lights and beautiful tiling and flowers. And then in this door. So, oh, I'll demonstrate the stairs. You must take your flip-flops off also. It's a staircase. You must take your flip-flops off, Mum. I've got my flip-flops off. So we go up the stairs to the master bedroom. This is where Dan and I are sleeping. <laughs> now, I've made it all up. We've, the bed was so comfortable, but I'm super, 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 super fussy about bedding. And yes. although this bedding was absolutely gorgeous, actually, it was perfectly acceptable, which I never say. Um, we did bring our own duvet, but I've made the bed up to show you. This is all Ralph Lauren bedding <laughs> and this, this super sparkly glittery thing is the range that Kylie did. Kylie! It is so glittery. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the glitter it's putting on the ceiling. It's like Ooh. disco. So this is uh, the bedroom, the view out over the garden and all the way beyond over Aberdeenshire. We've got our beautiful velvet chaise long. And the view out here is over to the burn. There's our car. There's the forest opposite. It's so gorgeous. And it doesn't stop there. This is all Dan and I's room. So up here is where all of the wardrobes are. Can you imagine if you had this in your house? It's perfect for hide and seek. Because We're going to play hide and seek today, actually. Mummy promised yesterday. Because all of the wardrobes are in the eaves, so you can crawl in. Do you want to demonstrate, Phoebe? And there's a little hidey hole back You can here. disappear you behind there that? very quickly. Oh. So this is in the wardrobes. There's a hidey hole down here. And you can go down. And there's another hidey hole in here. Which you can then come out of. <laughs> and have you seen the on and on or on and on and on and on mirrors? So they, just, cool. they just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> Look, we go on for ever and ever and ever. <laughs> so that's the wardrobe area. And then we've got a bathroom up here as well. I don't know which light works. 
and just then I turned on the fan. You just managed to turn on the fan, so it's going to make a bit of a fan noise now. But this is our uh, sort of loft bathroom. Love this floor. It's very similar to the floor we've got in our loft bathroom, actually. Oh yes, beautiful plants. Another mirror. That's looking out. So this house at the back here. So this one here is the owner's house and this one they are doing up and that's going to be another holiday home. And just beyond there is an old um, graveyard, which I'm going to take you up to show you later as well. And we've got a beautiful shower in here. And it, I had a shower last night and it was wonderful. And I want to decorate my bathroom like this with dark tiles. And that concludes the tour of the house. headed into Inverurie which is about 20 miles away to go to the supermarket as there's a big Tesco here and whilst we were there we had some lunch at a small cafe at the back of a clothes shop. <laughs> Inverurie is actually where one of my two cousins lives so we'll be back here to see him later in the week. This tea was a vanilla rooibos tea and it was absolutely delicious. So as usual I forgot to film anything before we ate it all but I can report that the panini with mozzarella, tomato and pesto was very nice. How was the cheese panini? How was your cheese panini? Lovely. If you don't finish that I will. How was your tuna mayonnaise toasty? Very nice. Yum. Mm -hmm. Nothing left. So the girls have got... What have you got? Malteser. Malteser ice cream. And, cho and chocolate, fudge. chocolate fudge brownie. Which is, you know, pretty sugary. Got Scottish tablet with caramel sauce. Yes. Very loud trainer. Because you know, Scottish tablet ice cream doesn't have enough sugar in it already. You need to put sauce on the top. Yep. And I'm not having any because I'm gonna have MMs in the car. So am I. <laughs> Right, we're back from Inverurie and uh, oh I thought I had something on my face but it's actually something on the screen. I thought oh no I've got something right here but no I don't. We're back from Inverurie and we're going to go for a walk now. We're going to walk up into the forest opposite which you would have seen when we were having breakfast this morning um, and hope that it stays dry whilst we do it. It's been lovely so far and the good thing about being in Scotland in August Get to break out the hand knit socks. Woohoo! That's where they're staying down there. Really is in the middle of nowhere. It's lovely, isn't it? Actually, what do you suppose these things are leaning up against the trees? They look like some kind of very, very uh, serious type of net. So we think that they must be for catching wild haggis uh -huh. because obviously um, Aberdeenshire is known for its immense haggis population and this time of year they are quite aggressive. They could be banshee beaters. They could be banshee beaters. But seriously, I, I do think it's haggis, wild haggis. It's a possibility. <laughs> Just in case you don't know that I'm joking. <laughs> haggis are not actual creatures. Yes, they are. 
they are haggis is basically a sausage with legs <laughs> but we always joke that they're actual creatures that have a hunting season they do live in the woods but if we see any scuttling away with their two legs longer on one side than the other so they can run around the hills <laughs> we'll be sure to film it haggis poo Some time later, we've had a walk and we came back to the house. I hope you can hear me because it's quite windy. We're playing hide and seek. So I'm hiding in the climbing frame. I don't think they'll suspect I'm here because it's full of spiders and I hate spiders. I don't know how long they'll last. I feel like I'm in the Blair Witch Project. This will be about the only opportunity I get to read on holiday with two children. Dan's hiding just behind the wall by the front door. Can you see him? I have a view of the house that's being renovated. It's actually the old, um, well, not vicarage, but the minister's house. There's an old graveyard next to it, but it's completely overgrown. They're burning something next to it. And this is my view on the other side. That's where we just walked up there. And this is the burn. Looking sparkly in the sunshine. She's found Dan. And Phoebe, and that, that means I've won. It's still <laughs> victorious. I made four pages on my book as well. Over the course of the day, whenever I had an opportunity, I plonked myself down to have a bash at drawing the house. And when it came to doing the watercolour, I used water from the burn because I thought it would be nice to incorporate something from the landscape into the drawing. I wasn't overly happy with the finished result as I messed up the shadows but I'm still happy to have created it whilst here in Scotland and to have practiced my drawing. Is it my go? Yeah. Well this doesn't help me. I don't want this piece. <laughs> this is a rubbish piece. Push in here. 
clear off. Oh, right, it's the end of our first day here in Scotland. We've just been playing a game that we found upstairs in the little games area called Labyrinth and it was really good fun. And I think I'm gonna end this first vlog here. Got my comfy jumper on, we're gonna settle down, light the fire. And, um, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and have a drink. So uh, thanks very much for watching this first vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time on the next Scotland vlog. So cheers from Scotland. Mm -hmm.